Hello, everyone. It's me again, Mr. Allen. And let's continue our chit chat with our guest speaker, Rosemary. So Rosemary, again, she is the final year computing student at Imperial College London. Hi, Rosemary. Hi. Hi, everyone again. Hello. How are you? How are you there? I'm good. I'm good. How are I'm you? Good. I'm doing good, too. Good, good too. Is, are, are you currently staying at your flat? Yes, I am staying in my flat right now, and I'm in the reception room. What? Sorry, is that a reception room? Um. So here oh. they call it living room, reception room. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Reception. Okay. The living room there. Okay. How mm -hmm. How big is your flat? Can you show me around? Like how 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 does it It is okay. Yes. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> um. Let me see how I can like switch my camera. Sure. So um. This is my living room. So yeah, we got lucky. Quite it's big. quite large. And then it's pretty nice today. The weather. Yeah. yeah. Wow, your, your room, your, the flat is really big. <laughs> yeah. how, 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 many, how many friends do you share the room? Um, I shared it with two other friends. So together we have three people in this flat. Oh, and we have three rooms. Okay. And, and how and how many uh washroom bathroom do you have? Um there's two. There are two. Oh, okay. And is your is your location, your your dormitory uh situating in the center or actually yes. suburban area? Um it's really near the university. So it's also mm. in so like my university, the campus. Um, is in South Kensington, and now here it's Kensington, so it's like a 10 minute walk to the campus. So that's right. why we chose this place because it's mm. close to uni. May, may I know, like, how much does it cost for this, um, for this flat? So, for this flat, it's $8.50 per week. Uh, $8.50 oh, per week. Per week. Share between three. Per Oh, so eight fifty shared. Mm. So three of you, so around two hundred something. Uh, yes, sorry, two, two yeah, two hundred pounds per week. Um, so like we have like different sizes of rooms. So mm. we did like a proportion based on that, like how much we pay it for rent. So like one of our friends got a larger room. She has an ensuite, so she pays a bit more. She pays like three hundred something. And me and another friend, we have like a room and we share mm. a bathroom. So we pay less. So it's about 200 something. And then the three of us, we add it to 850 mm. per week. That is actually quite expensive. Like 200, yes. let's say 200 pounds per week and four weeks. So like, like around 8,000 Hong Kong dollars. Yeah, that's the More downside that. of um like studying mm. in London, I would say. So the rent here is quite expensive. I would say it's around like in a lot of cases it's like around a thousand, I mean ten thousand Hong Kong dollars a month. Oh yeah. So. And, and that but that was quite in the center. Yeah, it's quite common, especially if you're staying in uh, central London. Mm. So like in so one areas, basically. Mm. So for students staying in um, UCL or or um, LSE and King's College, they are, there's, mm. that's also like in the central London. Um, some mm. students, especially um, Hong Kong students, we choose to live quite near to the university. So um, that would also be in the central London. So that would be quite expensive. Any special utilities or, or, or entertain entertaining rooms in your um, in the building, like like for example a sauna? We have that. Yes, <laughs> I do. Have oh, that. whoa! Yeah, we got a um, a slightly fancier place this year. I say, yeah. Um, yeah, that's why we really liked it, and we signed. For this flat, yeah. Okay. so yeah, like, in, um, but in, it's in the it's same not... room, in the same flat, or in the same building. Um, 
in the same building so it's shared by yeah. like um okay it's kind of like a clubhouse like there's a sauna and a gym mm. and a communal garden like that yeah but, well um, then it, eight twenty two two hundred 200 pounds is not bad well it's expensive but still not bad <laughs> Yeah, I'll say around uh, around like ten thousand Hong Kong dollars a month, like that. But then how about the student dormitory, the um, the college dormitory? Student dormitory. Um, so, are they um, small? Not that pricey. They are quite small. So like there are mm -hmm. a lot of choices basically. So as I mentioned, like in in May June, they would start sending you a lot of like um, information over. Right. And same as like, so you also need to do an application for that. And then they give you like so many choices, so many halls mm. to choose from. Mm. And you also put in like a call application and you choose up to five types of room that you want. So you choose like five rooms that you want from different halls. Oh. And then they do it by random, I think. So like you will, you will be most likely you'll be guaranteed like a place in the five choices that you picked and then they give you a room based on that and how much does it cost for the student dormitory like in so i'll rate? say again it's like the price really varies according mm. like to the room types that you want so mm. um sadly like in imperial like in in, in my campus like the rent in Kensington, this area is quite expensive. So, mm. uh, so dormitories and near the campus is more expensive. Um, so, like for Imperial, they have their own um, hall system. So, mm. Imperial has a few halls, like privately owned by Imperial. So, there's one like there's a few near um, the campus in South Kensington. There's mm. one in um, Paddington. There's one in North Acton. Um, there's one in for Waterloo, like some further away areas of London. Mm -hmm. um, so the price varies. Um, if you, there's one like in North Acton, it's it's this new hall. It's actually more like an apartment. There's like, I think 12 floors, so it's a tall building. So for that one, it's like, you need to travel to school with two. Um, so it's like a 30 minute ride. Um, but for that, the, the rent is slower because um, it's in the, like the area is um, cheaper in terms of rent. So for that one, it's also a new hall. It's actually pretty good. And then the price is lower. So for that one, I think with a single room, it's about 180 mm. like that. Mm. And if you're mm -hmm. doing a double room, so double room is like you share the room with another person, that's mm. like 120, I think. Mm. So I think like the lowest, bad. lowest price is like just 100. Right. Uh, like we're talking about per week, all, all the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pounds per week. Um, so like this, the like the cheapest room type is a double bedroom, standard bedroom. So there's mm. like no toilets in the bedroom, so you have to mm. use the communal toilet. Mm. Um, yeah, that's. I think that was the cheapest um, option offered by mm. Imperial. So for that one, the monthly cost is about four thousand Hong Kong dollars. How about the utility bills, like? gas electricity do you pay separately or so by your the good own thing self about, yeah so the good thing about staying in dormitories is that you don't need to worry about any utility bills so you just have one lump sum which is the rent and then that's it you don't need to worry about any wi-fi utilities and anything but once you move out and like stop using like a like you go to like a rented flat then you need to mm. pay everything separately so and and how it like how expensive is it? How expensive is the um, like on average? Like how much are you paying for the utility? I think utility in total every month it's about thirty ish pounds. So like three three hundred four hundred Hong Kong dollars a month mm -hmm. on average. Okay, so with your experience, like um, comparing with the dormitory the student dormitory you well you have that you had experience there already which one do you prefer which one do you like i'll say definitely shared flats because you definitely have way mm. more freedom to do so um 
Yeah, because like when you have your own place, you can invite your friends over. Um, so like some of my friends, they have like house parties and it's pretty mm, cool. So good. So we have like a lot of like people visiting the flat and, and it was quite happy, at least before COVID. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw like some students, like they, they, they study in Durham. So that's like a oh. more suburb areas. They really rented right. like the whole house. A whole house yeah so like a whole house with right. like four, four or five shared rooms oh. and it's really like kind of cute i think yeah. and you can really have like larger house parties so yeah, yeah it, it was really cool but i mean in london you probably can't do that with like a house like but like further areas in and the uk you can definitely do that and i think it's something really worth experiencing because mm. it's really hard to experience that in hong kong right yeah oh yes yeah nope nope no never <laughs> um is there any subsidy or sub financial support from the schools regarding accommodation no because we are international students oh okay. oh yeah that's a bit sad Thank you so much, folks, Mary, and um, I will see you next time. And audience, hi. So this the end of our episode. If you have any comments or you have any feelings, anything you want to tell us, write down, jot down, <laughs> down there. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, folks, Mary. Bye bye. See you Thank next you time. Thank you, everyone, and good luck and enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>